Hello, uh, it is Diva Daddy. Welcome to my channel. Today, we finally have some 2K gameplay to look at. And as soon as I saw this was coming out, I was like, what better more than film a reaction video to it? To kickstart my channel, to get, you know, the juices flowing, get eyes on my stuff. Y'all get to see what I have to say about this game. They're all privated now, but I did a few reaction videos back to W2K20 and I had some shit to say. I was a little harsh, but you know, Considering what the fuck that game looked like upon release day, everything was justified. I'm on the stream now, the W2K22 ringside report, gameplay deep dive. I saw some comments, like the live comments saying fail, so I'm like, oh my god. But we'll see. I'm gonna give them grace. This is the first time we're gonna see gameplay, and I'm ready for it. Let's see what 2K22 has to offer. I hope this is not short, because they have a habit of like doing gameplay, like, and video kind of videos like this in the past with the show behind the scenes and the videos were always like 15 seconds and never anything that will make everyone be like oh my god so let's see oh look you have a crush on lionel jinx he's actually cute anyways in here for me the art producer the inaugural episode so i assume this is going to be a series leading up to the release march 8th early access march 11th the release date let's get into it oh Oh my god, Asuka! Okay. Let's go back and look at that. The game looks good, I'm gonna say. The game looks good. A crazy upgrade from 2K20, bitch. Like, you saw those animations that look like literally an Artemis movie. Let me see Asuka. Asuka look good. I love the green face paint. Oh! Sasha. Oh, her hair looks good. Oh, she looks good. So, oh, look at the hair movement. I'm so happy you have the hair. That's like the. Oh my god, my husband. Let me see Damien. Ooh, Damien looks just as fine as he does in real life. Oh my god, Becky. The hair. Okay, can we get a mo? Wow. Look at that hair movement. Look at look how many like individual strands of hair there are. I mean, it's nowhere near like a Tomb Raider, but compare that to 2K20 and I'm gonna say the past games. That's a lot of strands of hair. A visual overhaul. That, let's kick it off with a very quick conversation about visuals because let's be real. If y'all take a look at WWE 2K22, you might see some massive differences. <laughs> I thought she was gonna say. <laughs> I mean, if you take a look at W2K20, <laughs> no, they're not even going to mention that shit ever again. Umberto. Okay, come in. Ooh, come on, Shayna. Ooh, she look good. Wow. Yeah, show us the exact same for every year. They always have to show us every year, no matter what. They always have to show us the scanning. They always have to give us footage of... Superstar is getting scanned to show how many fucking cameras they use. We get it. We just want to see the actual gameplay and like creation. Oh. See, now this is what I want to see. That's interesting. I want to actually see. Okay. Wait. Let me muting this. Bianca Belair stretching. Why do they always have like. Why can't. One thing I noticed with the animation of hair in a lot of the 2K games, like there's always one part of it and it's always to like the neck or like at least to the ear it's stiff for some reason they can never animate that part of the hair and i don't know why like here you can see bianca's braid is like it's as soon as she bends her neck that braid goes in a right angle like it's like i just don't get why they can't just have the whole braid animated so when she goes like this like the whole thing moves and it's the same thing for like long hair too like all long hair goes to about like here it's stiff and then the rest is like wavy. When a wrestler is upside down, or like, except for example, Charlotte doing the figure eight. So of having her doing the figure eight, all of her hair from her scalp dragging on the floor, it's like flat to like her ears. <laughs> like flat to her ears, and then the rest is like dangling. Like, I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. That's one critique I have about the hair, but. The, the hair improvements, I can already see that there's an immense amount, so 
Let's keep going. Yes, Bianca. Daddy Cesaro. Ooh! Naomi! Let me go back and see Damien. Ugh. Look at his gear. His gear looks sickening. Let me make sure this is on 1080p. It is. Okay. Um, Naomi with her glow in the dark gear. Is this the glow material? Because isn't there another material that's like. Because just because it glow, it doesn't have that like cast around it. Oh, wow. See, I love this kind of lighting. Okay, can we go back to that for a second? I don't know if you noticed, but... Or is that a cutscene? Is that actual gameplay? But, like, I love this look, how it's, like, kind of foggy. It makes me reminiscent of, like, 2005, 2006, 2007 era before WWE went HD. And before I forget, there is also a ton of new and improved championships as well. And um, one of my personal favorite things... NXT UK Women's Championship, perhaps? And... Oh, wow. Okay, so here's our first look at Thunderdome. That's crazy. Look at that. I didn't think they would put it in. Well, I thought they would put it in, but just because they never even, like, showed one single preview of it, but so now I'm like, okay, I'm not sure if this is going to be in or not. But look at that. That's interesting. I wonder who are those people are on the screens. Are those like the developers? You're so excited today because you don't know who we got. Please Oh, okay. So I guess maybe they are gonna show some gameplay, combat cast style. Let's go. Okay. Oh. At this point, one of the things we very intentionally called out to our fan base is that we have a redesigned gameplay experience. So just looking at two seconds of gameplay here, this kind of confirms like a suspicion. Not that I know like the controls are like how the exact gameplay is gonna play out, but a suspicion that I had about one of the few bits of gameplay that we've been seeing in trailers and whatnot is that the gameplay looks very stiff and it almost gives me like UFC vibes. I think a lot of that is due to the introduction of this new combo system. Because what I've been seeing is just like Superstar standing in one stiff position and just doing strikes. Boom, boom, boom. And not very really like moving around and doing like dynamic moves and stuff the way like they were in the past games. Honestly, I hope that's not the case because... I don't know, it's giving me... What, was Legends of WrestleMania like that? I don't know, but it's giving me Legends of WrestleMania tease a little bit, like, the gameplay here, because I know the controls for that game were switched up a bit. But, like, the camera angles I fuck with. Everything from the way the characters move, the way they traverse through the world, how they align with each other during attacks has been... Completely... But just the way Rey Mysterio's... Like, I don't know, it just looks so stiff, the way they just stand there and punch. Like, it looks like they're trapped. Strike, dives, springboards, they all connect more precisely. And that's also something that we really interesting in, in main. like where are the gra like i don't know when i play i do grapple pick up run knock down like all i'm seeing here is just punch 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 kick strike and then a grapple spells are now dynamically breaking such as like the corner barricade instead of relying on a canned sequence animation okay it's a really big change and so as soon as i throw an opponent like strong irish whip them into the barricade it's gonna break or if like if they're leaning and I do a running strike into them, it's gonna break. I don't have to do like an OMG moment. I just need to see how this is gonna feel in my hands. And I also hope that they did something with like, is it called haptic feedback? I don't know, but these buttons, like when I first busted open my PS5 and played Astro's Room, like the stuff, the capabilities of the PS5, I'm not sure if the Xbox has this, but the new Xbox has this, but the capabilities of the PS5 controller, like, these triggers like the tension that's added on here if you want it to like i don't know how to explain it but like in the astro's room game when it was raining for example like i felt the raindrops in my hands like this controller the capabilities of the dual shock is this dual shock 5 is it dual shock yeah dual shock 5 controller the capabilities of the controller have and if 2k like implemented that and took advantage of it like that'd be fucking amazing like, I just want it to be, like, Irish whipped against the rope, but I want it to feel, like, the tension in the remote. Making sure the game is, is fun in a pick-up-and-play kind of way. I want to be able to hand the controller to my friend who doesn't know anything about WWE, 
and I want them to still be able to have a good time. And be able to they say this every, I feel like they say this every year. They try to do a new gameplay, new gameplay strategy, a new control strategy, and they use the same reasoning that, oh, we want to be able to pick up and play. We want to be able to pick up and play. I just played with this. I just played 2K with a friend of mine the other day, and he had no idea what he was doing. And it was fairly, like, he was whipping my ass a bit. Like, to me, the old controls, like, walking around with L stick, running with L2, squares, punch, circles, Irish whip, X is to grapple. Like, I don't think the gameplay and controls are that difficult. So, I don't know why they're always just preaching, like, oh, we want to be able to pick up and play. Like, it's not that hard. I hate new controls, because I'm like, oh my god, I have to get used to this. Like, even with 2K Battlegrounds, like, bitch, like, I hardly got into that, because I'm like, what the hell am I doing with this game? The core actions or something you can discover just by button mashing. You should be able to basically play through a match without having known anything beforehand. But so I guess, so that's how they wanted to design it. They wanted to design it for the button mashers, which my friend who was playing 2K20 perfectly fine was saying that he was only button mashing, like pressing random stuff, but he held his own. So I'm guessing they really want to go down like the Mortal Kombat and Justice route where it's easier for someone to just pick up and play and button mash, but I don't know. I don't know how that works for a wrestling game. That is making sure we're not, you know, smoothing over a lot of the details that returning fans like. So yeah, exactly. That's what I feel like button mashing would. That's exactly what I feel like button mashing would do. Would smooth over a lot of details that returning fans and people that religiously play the game and know the controls off by heart. Combat itself is centered around three inputs: light attacks, heavy attacks, and grapples. So, in this cycle specifically, what do those terms mean? So, light attacks; those are your quick strikes, the fastest attacks in the game. Okay, let me get my controller. A light attack. Heavy attacks, those are kind of like strong strikes from previous years. They're bigger, slower strikes, but they deal more damage. Grapple is circle now. Some of the bigger changes come into play. So you press the grapple button once to lock up with your opponent, but then from there you can press light, you can press heavy. Uh, those will do your light and heavy grapples, but there's all sorts of other options. Irish whips, drag, carry, What's the Irish whip button? The grapple state. So once you grapple your opponent, you have Irish whip not being circle or B anymore. Okay, and now I want to toss this over to Jonathan. That's the new grapple. Possibly. Interesting. Talk about some of the combo options that Okay, this is what I want to see. This new combo system. Yeah, sure. I love how uh, to implement is the new combo. combo system here. I don't need to memorize every superstar's move set, but instead I practice the timing of my inputs in order to execute combos. Many different things. Is every wrestler going to have their own unique combos? To learn. And while my I'm going to be nitpicky. Damien P should be skinnier and taller and leaner. They could have worked harder on his body. He looks a little thick as... If you're a vet and you've been playing this for a long, long time, uh, can you all talk about how vets can better show off their moves and what that means for the overall strategy of their experience. So a lot of the strategy for our game comes with the new defensive options that we've added this year. So one of the biggest examples is breakers. Uh, instead of reversals being the only tool for countering your opponent's attacks, uh, grapples and combos actually don't use reversals. Instead, you counter them with a breaker. So when you're doing a grapple or a combo on your opponent, they can counter that attack by pressing the same light, heavy, or grapple input against them. Oh, okay. So how you want to counter it. So there's already a mind game with that level. Oh, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Because every time you reversal, like, you press the reversal button when you're about to get hit, it takes a reversal out of your little meter there. And it's just, it's like a big thing when you reverse move. And what I mean by big thing is like, it, sometimes it's a whole move itself. Sometimes you take your opponent to the ground. But like with this breaker method, like you punch and just boom, defend them quickly, psh, break out of it. And then you can hit them back again, which I kind of like. So I'll give them that. Then you have blocking, which is all there. Uh, if you hold down the reversal button, you enter a blocking stance, and that lets you withstand light, heavy, and running Okay, attacks. that's interesting. Uh, and then you come mm. the ground, you also can button mash to get up faster, or you can press right bumper to do a quick get up. Uh, okay, so that's space. how it's looking this year. Okay, so but I was a little cautious. I was a little scared for button mashing when it came to pin come came to pinning because like in the past games there was no meter or anything of progress to show like what you were doing. You would just like button mash and just hope for the best that you would kick out at three. But as you can see here, it's a little mini game. You have an orb or whatever you want to call around that fills up the circle as you button mash. So I guess that's fine. I guess I'm gonna miss the wheel system. Beep, beep, beep. Defensive options available to you. It makes when you're on defense, it's a lot more strategic. Breaking news: 
and break what news. Yeah, for one, like, I'm gonna say the HUD in 2K20 was just ridiculous, but there was just so much going on. There was like five different meters, then you had those finisher special move things that you could swap in and out. Yeah, there was just so much going on, and like, someone who has no idea, like, such a casual player would look at that and be like, what the fuck does any of this mean? I know I do that. So it's good to see that. What do we got here? We got health, reversal limit, and stamina, as well as can see from here. And then your body damage. So at the very top, you'll have the vitality meter. And this is basically your health bar. Okay. Below that, you'll find a special meter. Oh, that's special meter now? Spend to perform signatures, payback, or sequence attacks. Finally, at the bottom, oh. the finisher meter where you can store Interesting. stock and the HUD. We felt that 2K20's matches came down to how they use this man to reverse it. Not Rey Mysterio hitting the girl by. <laughs> Girl by. <laughs> There's girl by. We wanted to bring a bit more skill to a match by giving the users unlimited reversal, but making them a little bit more difficult. Oh wow! Okay. So they got rid of the reversal limit. Interesting. We get wild swings and back and forth and a, a, a bunch of oh so close moments. You see how the way Damian Priest got thrown out the ring? I would have loved for like the camera angles to cut and show us from like the outside perspective like i feel like they need to be on their shit when it comes to the camera angles like as soon as something reaches the outside of the ring flip that camera and show a quick second of damien like the camera needs to be like the person needs to be like standing on the end of the entrance ramp that's what the camera needs to be in addition to that like look at this camera angle for example like that's not a realistic camera angle i don't think i've ever seen a camera angle like up that high and like that ever in WWE. Yeah, just uh, saying so with reversals no longer being on a limit, that opens up a lot of possibilities for how your opponent can counter you, right? I know I heard them say that it's going to be more difficult to hit them, but like how difficult? Like it was not difficult to reverse a finisher at all in any of the past 2k games. That's why I feel like they introduced the limit. Literally like it's not hard to get that timing right, so I'm really looking forward to see how difficult it's going to be to hit them when it comes to your finishers especially because nothing is more annoying than trying to hit a finisher and the AI or if you're playing online, whoever just endlessly reverses it because like i said reversing is literally so easy killing your opponent's stun and if you can get their stun meter filled that's your opportunity to perform an attack without the risk of getting a reversal or a breaker oh okay uh, mashing is back y'all like i love it it creates a whole new level i'm not a fan of butt mushing mushing mashing i will say it's not i don't think butt mashing is cute i'm sorry especially if someone is like disabled come on nail me why is the ref counting so slow Y'all, we can go on and on, but unfortunately, we're out of time. So, to oh, close okay. out, what are y'all looking forward to most for the game, whether for your own experience or with players specifically? Let me answer that question. Bitch, the creation suite. We want new hair, we want new material, we want lots of new clothes, we want new hair, we want furry boots, we want mini skirts, we want lingerie, we want new hair. We want different race templates, more race templates. We want better bodies. We want snatched waist, fat ass bodies. Did I mention we also want new hair? And I just want cute DLC. Like, I want cute NXT 2.0 DLC. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay. That was a lot to take in right there. So let me go back and go see that past frame. So this is my rise from what I can see, or like what they're showing. So to start, the leaders, I guess, of the PC, or your trainers, I guess, are Beth Phoenix and Shawn Michaels, okay? But what I'm gonna, the most obvious thing that I'm gonna point out right away is that... The hair. We still have Eva Marie's hair, and that is, I'm sure, Vicky Guerrero. Or is that Josie Jane, or JCJ, whatever her name was from the last game. I'm not too keen on them reusing the same old hairstyles, because that definitely is a red flag you know we might have some limited options again this year which i'm hoping isn't the case but like them having old hairstyles on their created character that they're showing off is not making anyone hopeful beth phoenix wearing like nikki bella's 2k15 top stripped with any detail that's funny do you see what i mean how they like kind of nailed the lighting like it's kind of like foggy low saturation real life so that's the vibe but so, I will say I'm 
I guess I'm satisfied with that being the first episode of this ringside report. They really went over like the new control system, which I was very like thoroughly intrigued to see how it was going to go. Because like I said, I, you know, the gameplay that we did see in a few of the trailers, in a few of the trailers, it was raising concerns for me that the gameplay was going to kind of be stiff, especially with like this whole standing in one place and striking business, because that's what it was. That's what it was honestly giving to me. But they said that like with the stripped down controls and like the ability to button mash like a lot of like the details of different moves and grappling Irish whip and whatnot was is not gonna be smoothed over. It's gonna be all remain intact and the same. So we'll see how that goes. You know, hard cam is interesting how it's not like a full like outside view of the ring that's kind of zoomed in a bit like you don't see the two um turnbuckles in the foreground i kind of like the angles like this where it like zooms in on the corner that's interesting as well but the new animations from what i see like it looks good but i don't know it's just that striking like even though the wrestlers do do that only some wrestlers do where they hit those psh, 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 like a striking wrestler like not every wrestler is a striking wrestler so that whole like it's almost giving like UFC a bit. Let's see, go over the new attacks again. So light attack. Well, I'm a PS4 or five. Sorry, PS5 user. So square is light attack. Heavy attack is X. Grapple is now circle. So what are we gonna do to Irish whip? But there's all sorts of other options. Irish whips, drag, carry. All of those things come from the grapple state. So once you grapple. Like so do you have to grapple before you do an Irish whip? I hope not. I mean, yes, you can. I mean, yes, like, obviously, you can Irish whip after you grapple. That's always been a thing. But just grappling, I mean, just Irish whipping off the bat. Like, my opponent's standing in front of me. I want to Irish whip them. Like, can I still do that? I'm just a little concerned here. Like, the ref counting so slow. My eyes should be interesting. From what they're showing here, I can see, like, just a solo woman. A solo female, my eyes. Miss Eva Marie Wig over here talking to Beth Phoenix and Shawn Michaels, and like I said, I think that's Josie or Jossie Jane from 2K20 is my career. All right, I guess that's it. I'll be looking forward to the second Ringside Report. I hope they have a whole Ringside Report dedicated dedicated to the creations because me, along with thousands of other creators for this game, is what we're looking forward to the most. To see what new features are there, new hairstyles, new clothes, new materials, all kinds of the sort. I also really want to see how the new render system is, because I know you can like upload custom renders, which is like a huge like new feature when it comes to the creation suite. Um, so that should be interesting. I hope they show how you like upload that. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to keep up with me elsewhere, you can follow me on Twitter at Diva Daddy. That's where you know. I talk the most that's where you can interact with me that's where i post my creation content and whatnot so stay tuned for more reaction content stay tuned for more 2k22 gameplay i'm going to be recording my creative process how i make cause all of it i want everyone to be included i want people to finally see how i make what i make okay all right this is diva daddy signing off 2k22 coming in i think five weeks We'll be waiting for that. Deuces. Boom.